Marvin Dietzmann Colby follows his master with every gesture and motion, soaked in sweat amid an intense summer heat. The German youth is learning authentic Tai Chi in Cheng Chai Gao village in central China's Henan province, the home of Tai Chi. Um, I was looking for something that teaches me self-control and self-discipline, and I found the the Tai Chi school, and I tried it. After a rush of foreigners came to China to learn kung fu in places like the Shaolin Temple, Tai Chi has become a new fashion. Instead of fierce confrontation, Tai Chi demands slow movement and benefits people's health. I do like the life here. It's it's different because um yeah it's. For me, it's just、um, getting away from all the problems I have in Germany, and it's holiday for me. It's holiday for my head. Bulgarian Zlatan Pavlov is obsessed with Chinese Tai Chi. He could not help but come to Cheng Jai Gao, where the first Tai Chi master Cheng Chang Xing was born in the 18th century. In my country, I practicing Yan style Tai Chi, and、uh, it was so interesting for me to understand、uh, because the first, the first is Chen style. After this, coming Yan style, and it was so interesting for me to understand from where, from where is coming my my style, and now I understand and I like it. Twenty-five-year-old Benith Bu from Vanatu first joined in a 23-member class in Hunan to practice Tai Chi, and then came to the village to improve his skill. I like to watch Tai Chi in movies, how they move and the forms, how soft it is, but really powerful. I can、uh, feel my body different, my physical、uh, fitness is different from the first. And、uh, I also know that it has a good health benefits, and I'm glad to learn. Tai Chi has been listed as a national intangible heritage since 2006. It has spread to more than 150 countries and regions. <laughs>